Hey, how's it going? Toaster Bros, Jackson here, and today I'm going to be going a bit overboard and actually putting the box PC um, to uh, better use. Um, I want to replace a little bit of the hardware in it and basically upgrade it to possibly an 8 core, and then I want to actually put it inside my desk with the clear acrylic panel up here. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we're back now, and I'm going to show you guys the basic setup. Hopefully you guys can sort of see it, it's kind of a mess right now. Um, so basically this will be the base that's going to go under the desk, so it'll be basically flat like this right here, and it's going to be on this side, and then there will be a clear acrylic panel up here, so I'm going to have to actually cut a big square hole or whatever shape I end up doing right there. Um, and this is basically how it's going to actually look. Um, you know, nothing's hooked up right now and the graphics card isn't in, the CPU, none of that's in. Because this is, none of that stuff's quite as important. Um, but this is just the basic layout of how everything's going to be. And uh, you can see we got a fan here that's going to intake air. And then it's going to blow it out of this side. Um, and this is blue LED. And then I'm going to have the power supply actually turned upside down. So that the fan's going to blow air out. And you can see my cat just stole one of my cords. Thanks. <laughs> Um, and then it's gonna, it should intake air through the back of here. I'm not sure, actually sure which way it goes. It might suck in air and then push it out, but either way, whether it comes in this way or goes out the way, it comes in this way and goes out that way, it's still gonna get rid of the hot air pretty easily and it won't get inside the computer. And then we're gonna have uh, this fan blowing out. Um, so hopefully the air from this will kind of, you know, loop around in this area and go through here while it's also exhaling the hot air from out here from the RAM and all that. Um, and the graphics card, so it should work out pretty good. Okay, we're back now. I just wanted to show you guys. I just used the skill saw um, to actually cut this. All right, I got two of the things mounted so far. I got the power supply mounted and this little motherboard holder. Um, I got this out of an existing case that I used to have, and I was also using it in the cardboard box. Um, and I really like this thing. Uh, it, I just mounted it with one screw, but I'll probably... Oh, just shifted on me. Um, I'll probably uh, drill a hole for another one so that it doesn't, it can't um, move back and forth like that. And then for the power supply, I just did two pretty big screws in the bottom, and uh, I actually had to drill my own holes in the power supply, which uh, didn't hurt it. I don't know. Let me see if I can get you guys to be able to actually see it. Uh, they're right about. You know, this thing keeps moving. <laughs> they're right about here, though, and I, I I was able to get it past the circuit board um, on both sides, so you can see got that mounted really nice it's actually um, really solid on there so uh, we'll go ahead and continue so here's what we got so far you can see we got pretty much all of this stuff mounted now um, I ended up changing the position of the power supply and the way it was facing um, and I'll explain why later but you can see um, nothing's really hooked up but we got everything we need screwed in this will be for the hard drives um, and then now I'm gonna start like measuring the table and all that to see uh, how exactly I want to cut it, and I gotta figure all that out. Alright, we're now back, and as you can see, I got the hole cut in my desk. I made quite the mess in my room, I would suggest doing this outside, but it was very cold and I didn't really feel like putting the desk out, so I just made a little sawdust catcher, and by made, I mean got a laundry basket. Um, and I ended up cutting the hole to be about just the size of the motherboard, and the clear panel will go over this, and then now we get to work on actually just basically mounting the piece of wood down here that'll hold everything up. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I got the whole system holding itself up now, as you can see. Um, I just got one piece of wood there and then one right back here. They're both screwed in. And then um, I just did a little test boot and everything still does turn on fine. Um, I'll let you guys see it from the front. I put the I.O. in the front, kind of like how I had it before, because I kind of like it like that. I feel like it's easier access for everything. Um, and I'll probably do some cable management running off to the side later on but yeah you can see um, everything looks pretty decent I just need to get um, some walls on it and then I got to do a little bit of uh, painting and touch-ups and then uh, put the acrylic panel on here and so we'll get back to doing that okay I've just about finished all of the walls that I'm gonna be doing um, I'm just using these little three and a half inch uh, wood panels and I still got to work on figuring out, you know, what I'm going to put in areas like this. Um, but you can see I got most of it. Let me get around here. 
Most of it's all covered, and that needs to be covered, or at least that I want covered. Alright guys, we are back with the pretty much finished product, and it turned out, um, at least in my opinion, you guys might not think the same, but uh, I think it turned out pretty, pretty darn good. Um, since most of the stuff I did use to make this just came from stuff I had lying around, uh, the only things I had to go out and buy was this acrylic panel, which I cut down to size earlier. Um, and I used some wood stain, which is this stuff right here, and it made this wood that color, kind of like a darker color. I feel like that fit in better. Um, and I didn't want to do black just because, uh, I don't know, black just didn't, it felt like this would look better, and I don't know if it did, but I guess it's your all's opinions. Um, you can see we got the two Corsair fans, we got the one right here that's um, just a single 120mm, and then one right back here that's connected to the radiator. And then the configuration for the air I have going is this fan right here is pushing air in and then it kind of circulates through here and then that radiator should be pulling air through the radiator and out but at the same time it should also take some of the hot air inside of there and take it out. Um, so that should be a pretty good airflow system for now especially since you know the CPU is liquid cooled anyway. So. I shouldn't really have to worry about any overheating, plus there's nothing really that insane in here. Um, I'll put the specs in the description for anyone who wants to see it. But yeah, let me, uh, I'm trying to make sure I show you guys everything you can see. I went with the same style I had before. Um, ever since I had the box PC, I've just felt like the I.O. makes so much more sense to have in the front. I know it maybe doesn't look as pretty, but for everyday use, it just it feels like it makes so much more sense because I can just unplug stuff whenever I want, and now it's literally you know, right below me, to where I can just unplug stuff and plug in and whatever. Um, and I don't really have to worry about extra, you know, USB ports, because I got them, I got the aisle right here, I got everything I need. Um, let's go on the side. So you can see, I got the power button over here, that's pretty much all that's over here, and that's just like, walls and stuff like that. Um, you can see this motherboard though, I do like the little audio thing. Um, I think it has 7.1 channel, so it has some type of cool, which doesn't really do anything, I'm sure, but it, it just looks cool. It has like a red line going through it. And then obviously the Corsair logo changes, and then the power supply has a, a PV of power supply, and that also uh, stays blue, so it looks sort of cool. It's a little bit of lights in there. I'm, I'm probably going to have to put some LEDs or something just to make it look cooler. Uh, this clear panel, like I said, I cut it myself. It's pretty easy to take out. You just kind of stick your finger under it, and then you can see I have little clips in each corner to kind of that this panel just sits on, and there's nothing really to secure it in because it doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, overall though, I think it took me, I would say it probably took me about six hours total to do this. And uh, I kind of just randomly did it too. Like it was one of those things where, I mean, because that's how I always am. Every single build we've done pretty much. I don't really plan it out first, I just get really bored and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something. And I just end up, you know, this something like this ends up happening. I'm gonna turn on this keyboard light just to add to the <laughs> sexiness, you know. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, something like this just ends up happening. Like, I don't know if you guys ever saw my desk before, it was just a normal desk. Um, I think we got from like Walmart and I just ended up cutting into it and making this. And then I had this, like I said, I had most of the stuff lying around. This piece of wood I had laying around. I do like a lot of cutting and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I had to do a lot of modifications, but it didn't really take me too long, so that's good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little project. I wish I would have documented it a little more. I was doing really good at first, and I kind of lost track and just started doing it without thinking about recording. And, um, yeah, I kind of did it all, most of it, without you guys seeing it. But you guys can see the final product and, uh, you know, future builds, uh, I'll try to make sure I get everything in it because I'm sure you guys like seeing stuff like this, especially if you wanted to try doing it yourself. So, like we said, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask any questions about how I did or whatever else you want to know or what else I plan on doing. And we'll see you guys later.